morning now, all your old pipe smoking cod. Old Lunt and Larry, huh? Yeah, bud. This is the uh, second stop on the Doc Holiday video. This place is called Camp Stevens. Hope you can hear me for the car going by. Uh, John Henry Holiday, Doc Holl Holiday's father, Henry, owned and sold more than 40 properties in Spalding County. Spalding County is where Griffin is, of course. Before the Civil War started, Henry was already in his 40s. You now we're talking about Doc Holliday's daddy now. He's already in his 40s. He was a former landowner, former county clerk, and a veteran of two other wars, the Cherokee Indian War and the Mexican-American War. The site I'm on right now was purchased by Henry in 1855. And it later became a training, training ground named Camp Stevens. During the Civil War, Holiday attained the rank of Major he served a quartermaster in the 27th Battalion of the Georgia Volunteer Infantry. So what he did was, this land that I'm standing on now, he, uh, he donated it to the city or the county to put a Confederate training camp on. And this here was the reason that Sherman didn't hit Griffin, because well, it was a large, large camp here. And uh, so there was several thousand infantry soldiers camped here and training and such. I'm going to show you one of the earthworks, which is a dirt enfortment. It's a wall, it's like a fort, but it was uh, dirt instead of uh, rock or concrete walls such as that, don't you know? Let's see if we can get it in here. I'm going to uh, take the camera and make a span. I'm going to step out of it here for a minute. that kind of give you an idea there? Now this is one of the smaller earthworks. There's one that's much larger, two or three streets over. This area is all called Camp Stevens and all the streets in here are named after Confederate generals and colonels and such as that, don't you know? I'm gonna walk up on the earthwork here and let you look down on the inside of it a little bit. climbing up now. Now these were a lot deeper back during the Civil War. That kind of give you an idea. You can see the high embankment in places. I'm standing right on top of one now. I step down inside. But there was two two areas, and actually there was another camp we had in Griffin, which was a cavalry camp, and it was at the city park. Well, I do some of my lunt, and you see me out there lunt with my buddy and all. Can you, can you get an idea? Can you see the earthworks here behind me? See them going around there? It makes a, just a circle. Here they are, coming back up. There they are, see if you'll look. They about my shoulder height now. But back then, they were a lot deeper. It's been filled in over the years with uh, leaves and such. Anyway, 
when he donated this land, Doc Holliday was five years old. He was just a little boy, he was born 1851. Now I'm not an authority on Doc Holliday by any means, but I did go up around him, hearing about him all my life. So I just wanted to share some of these places with him. I'm just gonna stop this video and we're gonna pick it up again. This will probably be in four parts, three or four. I hadn't decided yet how this is gonna work out because I don't edit it. I just, I just let it rip. <laughs> you know what I mean now? All right. So we're just gonna leave Count Stevens and we're gonna head over to another spot. And we'll catch you in a little bit.